how to fix PlayStation 3 browsing problems. Hello and welcome to VideoJug. You can do lots of funky things through a PS3, one of which is the ability to watch video jug films on your massive telly from the comfort of your sofa. Sometimes, however, things go a little awry. If you're getting errors and what have you, try the following. Step 1. Empty your cache. Somehow this helps. It's essentially deleting all the stuff from the internet that your PS3 has saved. Do it by pressing the triangle button when in the internet browser. Go to Tools on the option menu. There, you can select Delete Cache. Step 2. Turn cookies on. Some sites throw a wobbly if cookies aren't flipped on, so make sure they are by pressing the triangle button when in the internet browser and go into Tools on the option menu. There, you can turn cookies on or off. Step 3. Avoid certain sites. Some sites, like Hotmail.com and YouTube, crash because of the way they use Flash. Hopefully this will be fixed by an update in the future, but for the time being, tread carefully. Step 4. Sort out your firewall. This is the complicated bit. If you pop your PS3 into a demilitarized zone, it might stop browser crashing. The first thing you need to do is assign a static IP address to your PS3. To do this, go to Settings, Network Settings and Internet Connection Settings. Select either Wired or Wireless, depending on your connection, and any security passwords for WEP and what have you. Both options will then give you a page entitled Address Settings. Select Manual. Under IP address, fill in something like 192.168.1.100, because 100 is high enough that you're unlikely to have devices using that many slots. Subnet mask should be 255.255.255.0. Default router is the IP address of your router. To find it, go to the Start button on your Windows PC, select Run, type CMD, and then IP Config. This will give you loads of data. Look for the IP address and fill it out on the PS3. Primary DNS and secondary DNS need to be the same as the default router IP address. When all these are in, hit right on the D-pad. Leave MTU as automatic and don't use a proxy server unless you're using one. Enable UPnP only if you're sure your router supports it. Head over to your PC. This is where things get complicated because all routers are different. If you open your favourite internet browser and type in the IP address you've just found out into the address bar, that should pull up your settings. Have a hunt around for settings related to the demilitarized zone, sometimes referred to as DMZ. When you find it, enter the static IP you just entered for the PS3. That's 192.168.1.100. Now your PS3 is in the demilitarized zone and after switching everything off and on again to reset any settings, you should hopefully notice fewer browsing problems. Done.